Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. China confronts Australian warships in disputed South China Sea as World War III fears loom. Australian warships were confronted by the Chinese Navy as the vessels passed through the disputed South China Sea. The Chinese Navy was conducting military exercises when they sent the Australian ships a robust response, defence sources said. Australia's HMAS Anzac, HMAS Toowoomba and HMAS Success were challenged by the Chinese People's Liberation Army's Navy as they were transiting towards Vietnam for a three-day goodwill visit. Defence sources said the confrontation occurred while China was conducting live-fire drills along its southeast coastline where experts have feared World War III could break out. Beijing's hostility in the South China Sea has been growing with recent satellite images showing it has been aggressively investing into upgrading infrastructures and deploying resources in the region's disputed islands. The Australian Prime Minister has blasted any attempt by the Chinese to interfere with Australia's right to travel through the South China Sea. In accordance with international law, Malcolm Turnbull said, We maintain and practice the right of freedom of navigation and overflight throughout the world and, in this context, we're talking about naval vessels on the world's oceans, including the South China Sea, as is our perfect right in accordance with international law. Meanwhile an Australian Department of Defence statement added, the Australian Defence Force has maintained a robust programme of international engagement with countries in and around the South China Sea for decades. This includes bilateral and multilateral military exercises, port visits, maritime surveillance operations and ship transits. Australian defence officials would not confirm whether the confrontation took place but added three of their warships had arrived in Ho Chi Minh City for a three-day goodwill visit on Thursday. China's Ministry of Defense hit back at the reports, saying they are different from the facts. A ministry spokesman said, the reports from Australia are different from the facts. On April 15 China's naval vessels encountered Australian naval ships in the South China Sea. China's ships used professional language to communicate with the Australian side. China's operation is lawful and conforms to conventions. It is professional and safe. The exact details of the confrontation have not been revealed but Neil James, Executive Director of the Australian Defence Association, a security policy think tank, said the first aspect of such a challenge was usually a radio warning that the Australians were in Chinese territorial waters. It would be a demand for identification and the Australian Navy would have replied that they were in international waters. The next levels of challenge involve sending an aircraft and ship to investigate. Mr. James added, it just escalates. Eventually if they're in your territorial waters and they're not meant to be there, you might fire a shot across their bows but no one has done that for years, apart from the North Koreans. The news comes after Beijing threatened Taiwan with invasion during China's huge military exercises. The Chinese Air Force confirmed H-6K bombers had recently flown a patrol around the nation. Australia the US and the UK have enforced their commitment to maintaining freedom of navigation through the South China Sea, much to the fury of Beijing who has claimed indisputable sovereignty over the South China Sea Islands. The US Navy has been confronting China in the region with freedom of navigation exercises sent its aircraft carriers Theodore Roosevelt and Carl Vinson in recent months. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson announced Britain would also deploy its new colossal aircraft carriers to the region in a show of strength. Speaking last year in Australia, Mr Johnson said, one of the first things we will do with the two new colossal aircraft carriers that we have just built is send them on a freedom of navigation operation to this area to vindicate our belief in the rules-based international system and in the freedom of navigation through those waterways which are absolutely vital for world trade. The Foreign Secretary added that they were not only longer than the Palace of Westminster but more persuasive than most of the arguments you will hear in the House of Commons. His comments came after a Chinese spy was detected near the Australian coast where joint war exercises were being conducted with the US and New Zealand. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.